first, a, a big breakthrough in HIV research discovered right here at the U. This is CARE 11 News at 6. Good evening. Researchers at the University of Minnesota are being commended for a big medical discovery. They found that drugs used to treat one deadly disease may actually help to fight off another. Here's CARE 11's Joe Fryer. Way better. After 20 years of researching HIV, this is a flow cytometer. Professor Lewis Mansky is hoping his latest research will lead to a new treatment. We can count all the cells that have been infected. His team recently found a way to treat the virus using drugs already on the market. This is desitivine. Those drugs, desitabine and gemcitabine, are currently used to treat cancer, but when combined in lab experiments, researchers wanted them to do something else for HIV. To force the virus to mutate at a much higher rate and kill itself off. They say that's exactly what happened. Together in combination at concentrations or at doses much lower than what's used for cancer chemotherapy, these things work in our models very, very well. The beauty of this is that the drugs are already approved by the FDA, saving them lots of time and money. The hope is that these drugs can be um, uh, more quickly developed into new anti-HIV drug. Of course, plenty more research needs to be done, including clinical trials in humans, and they also hope to put the drugs in pill form. Right now, they're only given through an IV, but for now, they're quite optimistic about the discovery. Well, we hope that we'll be able to translate this into some effective therapy. Researchers have studied these cancer drugs in mice and also found positive results, but it will take some time before they can test people. One big question will be whether the drugs will have any long-term side effects on patients. Reason for optimism, though. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Joe.